Organizers say this is the first time they've had an event like this here at the cemetery. It's the first time Monica Simmons went to her grandfather and great grandmother's graves. They're buried in this cemetery located in the center of the historically African American community, Newsom Farms. I'm just glad that someone made the effort to clean up the cemetery, make it look beautiful. It had been an eyesore. Linda Carrington has been working for years to improve it. In March, there was a massive cleanup. They get the black American African soldiers appreciated. At least do something. They're not they're gone, but they're not dead. The city told the I team that technically no one owns the land. Today, they had an hour-long ceremony remembering those who are buried here. So to me, we must never forget, this is our stories. This is your story, my story, America's story of survival, of moving forward, and making Virginia Beach a better place to live. There are about 40 tombstones, some marked, others not. A few of the graves date back to the 1800s. So many African Americans fought in the Civil War. So many of them fought in World War I, World War II, and the Korean War, and we don't know their names. And some family members don't even know that these men are in their families. So it's a connection back for them as well. The city is working to get the property listed on the National Register of Historic Places, which means it could get funding for upkeep. Historians are working to identify those who are buried here in hopes of honoring and remembering all that they sacrificed. I'm touched and I am actually honored because my family is here. So, and I'm thankful, very thankful. Organizers hope they'll continue to have this event every year. In Virginia Beach, Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.